truck right here. That's interesting. The truck is here. The wheel set is here. The tender is here. What makes you say that's the uh, tender truck? Oh, I know. Trust me. Because yeah, the P70s don't have a truck like that. Yeah, you don't really get this the sense of the damage looking at those aerial photos. You look at it from the ground. Oh, like, yeah, holy definitely. Holy crap. Yeah. These are the cab signals that mm -hmm. would would indicate the same wayside signal. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a, an improvement that the Pensy made. Um, here again, this is the reverse gear lever that you use as a, almost like a gear shift in, in a car to put the engine in forward reverse. And then it also, as you're running a steam locomotive, it, um, you change the position of that depending on how fast you're going, how much steam you're using, and it makes the engine run more efficiently or not, as it may be. These are the water valves for the injector, automatic brake, independent brake, starting valve for the injector. This is the throttle in right here. This is the water pipe coming up from the injector and the boiler check valve is right here. This is where the water goes into the boiler um, in the back of the firebox. And then the blower lever, level, lever. The blower does what? And that's what keeps the draft going in case you shut the throttle off or, or to get draft on the fire because the exhaust is what is giving you the draft in the firebox. Okay. So, so is that so? Dunn would have had to have shut that off or, sh or turned that on, turn it on, as well as turning the stoker off. All right, right now the throttles and this is the reverse gear is in neutral. All right, these guys aren't moving anywhere; they're mm -hmm. just in the cab. And this is the throttle. This is all the way pushed forward, and that indicates to me that there's no steam going into the cylinders. Right. I think. See, I can't remember where the cylinder cocks are, but I think that would be this one. Or one of these two down here. And that opens up um, in a steam chest on either side of the piston. You have drain valves. You don't want water to be compressed by the piston. A steam right, okay. engine could blow the cylinder head right off mm -hmm. of it. So these, these are actuated with steam pressure, and they open up when you, when you open up a valve it allows the condensate, the water, to come out of the, the cylinders. You, you would only do it when the engine's ice cold, basically, or okay. colder than the normal, you know, operating temperature. You like a vapor lock kind of thing? Well, or? not vapor lock, but, you know, you, you, if you get, if you hydraulic the piston, you can do a lot of damage to the steam chest okay. and the rest of the engine. It's not, not a good thing. And then these are air brake valves, uh, air brake gauges up in here. I don't see the main steam pressure gauges off to the left over here. This is a light to light up the air pressure gauges. Uh -huh. the brake. This is the whistle cord over here. Okay, here's the fireman's side. So this is where the coal enters the right. firebox down here. Here's the stoker assembly, standard stoker, right? The coal enters up through here, and then it gets sprayed out into the firebox. This is a, a door to manually open uh -huh. with the air assist, um, the air assist valve uh, to look in the in the firebox or to add coal by hand. Here again, here's the blower lever, lever right here. Here's the check valve on the fireman side for the injector coming down. And these are all stoker controls over here. Um, these control the jets. Um, there, there's a plate in the firebox right where the stoker is that has veins, that has steam jets, and these are the valves that control the spray of the coal into the firebox so you can oh, get okay. it done evenly, all right? Oh, right, right. This, and, and this little guy here is an adjustment for the outside. They had these little um, veins uh, that were adjustable so you could get this, you could spray the coal on the, on the, on the sides. You could open them up like this or have it thrown a little bit more forward with that adjustment. So like all, that. The, all that is really just to control the, how the Where the coal is going on the, on, the, on, the, on the corners or uh -huh. to the side. Here's your starting valve for the injector over here. Okay. And then the water valves for the, uh, for the injector on the fireman's side. Now he's got cab signals too. 
Remember, I told you his duty is to yeah. call signals, yeah. call and signals pay attention, right. Right. look at obstructions on the track. He's got to do both. He's got to fire the engine and do that. This is um, that's out of the uh, fire uh, engine side. side. Yeah. yeah, this is uh, the lever here is for the power reverse. The power reverse assembly is right here. That's what that handle that you saw with right. the ratchet mechanism. And I told you it was a reverse gear. Right, right, right. That's what is attached to this rod here and that goes into what the mechanism in that box is a power reverse air cylinder that assists the engine man in, in moving the whole reverse gear back and forth okay and making those fine adjustments yeah cool. here's the engineer uh -huh. interesting very interesting mm -hmm.